just for a start, we'll start on uh, how to grow them from seed. You can either grow them in a, in a nurseryman's tray or a, or a small plastic container with holes punched in the bottom. Uh, but I use, on the tray I'll put the seed raising mix. It's very important that this is very smooth and fairly fine, otherwise the seed will get lost in the crevices. So we smooth it off. I use a piece of right angled iron to smooth it off. And once that's done, I soak it in water and let the water come up through the soil with capillary action. The reason for doing this before I sow the seed is that uh, if, you, if you have your seed in there and you lift it up out of the water, the water can drag the seed right down into the soil so that it's too deep to uh, germinate. Once the water has come up to the surface, that can be seen by the surface of the soil changing colour and also the water will glisten on top. The tray is then taken out and uh, ready for sowing. Onion seed is very fine, so uh, it takes a fair bit of care in the sowing. I have a piece of uh, A4 paper here cut into two, which works ideally. And you gently tap out uh, some seed. I have enough seed there on that little piece of paper probably for a hundred plants or more. So being so fine, gently add a little bit of silver sand, a pinch of silver sand in amongst the seed and then gently fold the paper and then sew it over the surface of the, of the seed, mix, seed raising mix. So one way and then cross out the other way to try to get an even, even germination. Once this is done, um, I gently spray uh, from the top with a very fine spray, taking care not to stir, push the seed down in too much. The tray is then put into a propagator at, at about 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius and uh, takes about eight or nine days to show signs of germination. Whether, whether sowing it in a, in a propagator or, a, uh, or out on a, a bench or wherever, it pays to cover it with a, a, a piece of glass and uh, if, you haven't, if you haven't got the luxury of uh, a propagator, probably best to delay your seed sowing until September, October when the weather warms up a little. Before you put them away into the propagator or wherever you're going to put them, label what you've got there. If you don't, if you haven't got enough seed to warrant a tray, they can be into a, sown into a, uh, a small food container so long as you have holes in the bottom for drainage. Then once they've been there uh, in the warmth for about eight or nine days they will shoot. These here have been hit, these have been germinated for about a fortnight and you can see they're still very tiny. After about a, a month after germination they reach this side size then they're pricked out to approximately an inch or 25 millimeters apart. As we showed you before, a, a tray of seedlings a couple of weeks after they germinate, this is a tray uh, ready to be pricked out into another tray as we showed you before. The tool we use for this is a, uh, a bamboo with slots cut in one end and the point the other end. You could have two of those if necessary. Uh, I tend to use my fingers but if you use your fingers, uh, I dig it out and use my fingers to pick the plant up 
but be very careful not to put pressure, otherwise you'll bruise the leaf and that'll be the end of that. Once they've uh, filled up the tray, the next tray that they go into, they are then transferred into two inch pots uh, as soon as they start to fill the tray. There's one that's uh, just been put in there about a week ago and here's one that's ready to go on to a four inch pot. That takes about a in those tubes, they're in the tubes for about another month. This one is a, a, a plant that's been potted into, the, into a four inch pot about four weeks previous to this and that is ready for a six inch pot. Uh, and once in the six inch pot, this one's been in there for a few weeks, um, they can either be left to flower uh, or they can be potted on. Once they get to that stage, the flowers can be very heavy and they'll need a stake at the back to stop them from, from topping off because the weight of the flowers will take the plant right down and it's then tied with a piece of twisty tie to that stake. If you want to take them a step further, you can take pinch the flower buds out and let them grow pop that on into an 8 inch pot and then have quite a large plant and flower later on. But that's all a matter of preference in what size plant you want. But that's ready to quite big enough to flower if you want it to uh, flower in a 6 inch pot. Just recapping on what we've gone through uh, with the pots. This one is about 3 months old after germination. And this one is a month older, that's four months old. And this is six months old and that's at flowering stage. Uh, this is just a general idea. If these are grown under ideal conditions and in under less than ideal conditions, uh, they will take considerably longer to develop. Uh, the potting mix we use was the seed raising mix in the seed tray and the next, the intermediate tray where they pr are pricked out into has a base of uh, half strength potting mix made up of uh, premium grade potting mix and 50% seed mix and topped off with a coating of seed mix. Uh, this one in the three inch pot which is three months old uh, that also has a half strength mixture of half, half um, pot, premium grade potting mix and half seed raising mix. Once you come to a four inch pot just a full strength premium grade potting mix will do fine and also with the six inch pot and any pot thereafter just a premium grade potting mix not not acidic will do them very nicely. Mm -hmm.